I'm taller than most people think. <laughs> I don't stand very much, so people are always surprised. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you, Senator Hirono. It's great to be here with you all today. And let's be perfectly clear. Birth control is health care. But in the nearly two years since the Supreme Court threw out Roe v. Wade, we've seen extreme MAGA Republicans across the country work to roll back health care and tear reproductive freedoms away from Americans. And as a result of these barbaric efforts, birth control, including Plan B, are under threat. That's a nightmare's reality that millions of Americans are living in a post-Roe world. And it's not a hypothetical future. It's what's happening today, every day now in this great nation. Because they don't care that birth control is safe, effective, and an important part of reproductive care. They don't care that contraception helps millions of women treat conditions like endometriosis, PCOS, and even helps to decrease the risk of certain cancers. They don't care that they are making it even harder for black and brown communities, LGBTQ plus Americans, people with disabilities, and other marginalized communities from accessing the health care that they desperately need. And they don't care that access to contraception bolsters military readiness. If they did, they would not have cheered when Roe v. Wade was overturned two years ago this month. That's why I am incredibly proud to join Senators Markey, Hirono, in pushing for our Right to Contraception Act, which will be brought to the floor for a vote today. What this legislation would do is in the name. It would codify every American's right to access birth control, no matter their zip code, and prohibit any state from enacting laws that would infringe upon that right. Because the freedom to decide if, when, and how someone becomes a parent should belong to Americans, not Republicans. Our legislation also establishes a right for doctors to provide contraception without fear of being prosecuted or thrown in jail. The decision to seek out and use birth control is an extremely personal one, and every doctor should be able to discuss resources and options with their patients to help decide which form of contraception might be the best form for them. Many Republicans will say we're being overzealous and that there's no real threat to birth control. Well, they also said we were overreacting when we said Republicans were coming for Roe. They said we were overreacting when we said IVF and the right to build our families and our own, our own terms would be next after the Dobbs decision. But this is not an overreaction. This has been Republicans' plan all along. When we vote on this bill today, we'll make it clear once and for all who supports the freedom of every American to access contraception if and when they need it, and who plans to continue their right-wing attacks and exert further control over women's bodies. If Republicans were really pro-freedom, they'd help us pass this important legislation to protect the freedom of every American to decide what happens to their own bodies, their own careers, and their own futures. So today, I will vote yes to pass the Right to Contraception Act to protect our rights. Thank you. And, uh, and now I am very proud to uh, uh, be followed by the chairwoman of the Tammy Caucus in the Senate, Senator Tammy Baldwin. <laughs> <laughs>